7 Action News reporter Smita Koloki, who's in Dearborn right now, where there were a number of accidents and blamed quite obviously on the slick roads tonight. So it sounds like a bit hit or miss, depending on where you were in town, Smita. Absolutely, Stephen. You know, we went all over Wayne County looking for these accidents. I want to give you an exact look at what it might look like. So you head out the window, doesn't seem that bad. But if you go to areas like this on untreated side roads, it is, in fact, still quite slick. Now, again, we tested the roads ourselves and take a look at this video. We didn't go above more than 30 miles an hour on untreated areas of the highway, like along Southfield Road in Dearborn. Now, over in Allen Park, in just a mile and a half, we saw three spinouts. The wet roads with the falling temperatures certainly were a bad combination. Now, Wayne County issued a partial call just before 8, putting about 70 salt trucks into action. Now, we're told that this is an early start to the salting season. We got hit by a surprise uh, snowstorm. We thought it was dissipating, but obviously uh, it did uh, um, gain some power and started moving through Wayne County. When we get to the winter, you know, folks just really need to slow down and, and uh, take their time getting to their destination. And I think it did catch some folks off guard. Now, fortunately, most of the accidents that we saw were not serious, and we're told that any injuries, if there were some, uh, were, in fact, minor. But again, this was hit and miss across the area. We are also told over in Washtenaw County, Ann Arbor had its own set of problems near I-275. For now, reporting live in Dearborn, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News. All right, Caroline? thanks a lot, Smitha. Bottom line, we do need to slow down out there.